Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here. We're back here on Southwest Florida for a change. Um, well, change from what we've been doing lately. Um, it actually just updated for the time I'm making this video. So let's get into the dealership here and see what they added. A um, couple of builds I can obviously see that we're going to be doing in the future. Obviously, it's still loading. I actually just hopped into the server. So we'll just give it a second. You know what? I'm buying that WRX. So this is a new limited car. Um, definitely make sure to claim that before it's gone. Okay, we got the Nissan 240SX and we got the 180SX. I don't know, we might have to do an 180SX as a drifter. I don't know. This Beamer, if you guys also don't know where this BMW is from, if you guys um, know a game called Mon Bazoo, um, it's a game I think for consoles, I'm not sure, but it's also I know for PC. Um, this BMW is in the game, so we are going to have to uh, buy that. Probably one of my favorites. I think there's a wide body kit for it too, so I'll have to check that out. Nothing new in hatchbacks, SUVs, nothing. Um, we'll come to sedans here in a sec. Actually, we'll come to pickups in a sec, so we'll just go to sedans. So, we got... Ooh, okay, we got a 1990 Mercedes-Benz 190E. I like that. I'm going to definitely be buying that. Lancer, I'm probably not going to buy. I already have one, which is this one right here. Even though this is probably going to be kicking myself later. Oh, this one's a 2000, though. Um, I'll be kicking myself later probably for not buying this. I'm not going to buy it right now. Probably won't buy it ever. But make sure to claim these limiteds while you can. Nothing new and super. Oh, classic. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we'll come back to classic here in a sec. Emergency, so cop cars, ambulances and all that. Oh, I think it's just cop cars. And dot vehicles. Nothing new. Um... Vans, there's nothing new, and motorcycles. So let's go to classic here. I want to see. That's not a bad price. I'd actually be curious to see different builds with this. I mean, I bet there's going to be lots of people that jack them up, lots of people that lower them, probably even squat them. Uh, I don't know why you'd squat that, but I don't know. Let me know if you guys would like to see a build with this uh, old F100 right here. We might have to doing and if you do want to see me do it uh what kind of build should i do should i do uh maybe not stanced but should i do a drift build should i do an off-road build should i do like a kind of pavement princess build let me know in the comments down below guys uh let's go what was it uh pickups so it looks like wait a minute oh wow so we got a bunch of new pickups I'm just going to come out and say that. We got a whole bunch of new pickups. So, if you guys don't know, I guess the Chevy Silverado, the twenty or the 3500 and 2500, they got remodeled, um, which is pretty cool. If you guys didn't know, I mean, we had it, them before, but I guess, I don't know. I didn't think they needed a remodel. Apparently, they did. I mean, the 3500 kind of was noticeable for me anyways. We also, oh my god, we got a 2022 GMC Sierra AT4. Yeah, you know what? You know I'm buying that truck. Alright, and then we got a Dually. I'll probably end up buying that later. Um, we got a Cyclone. Very excited to see different builds with this. I'd almost be tempted to actually do a lifted build. I don't know, I might do a drift build with it. Don't know yet. Oh, we got an OBS. I don't know why that's not a classic, but we got an OBS that's uh, 454 SS, which is awesome. So the Cyclone does have more horsepower. Of course, the Sierra does too. Has even more. Um, if you guys didn't know, our newest truck was this SRT 10. But moving on to the next newest trucks, I'm really hyped for these trucks. I'm really hyped to see what people are going to do with these ones. We Starting off here, we got a 99 Ford SVT F-150 Lightning. I think lots of people are going to really do a lot of cool stuff with this truck. I mean, 
Can you imagine the collection people are going to do with this truck and, I mean, the Cyclone and even this 454 and this Lightning? I mean, these four right here are just, they're four great classic pickup trucks, American classics. Another one, obviously, I just went over it, 95 Ford SVT F-150 Lightning. Now, it's the same truck. Obviously, one has 360 horsepower, one has three, 240. One's also newer than the other. One, yeah, this one weighs more, which is kind of weird. Not to mention it's a newer truck. Both rear-wheel drive, both carrying cap capability is two-wheel drive. Um, torque on the old one is 325 and the newer one is 440. I mean, I can't say new because it's still like a 24-year-old truck. Anyways, um, getting into that, are they both the same price? So, one is, I'd say, $10,000 more, just over that. So, obviously, this one's more. This one's um, cheaper, obviously. Yeah, I think we all know which one. I'm, obviously, I will come back through here. I still got to actually go through my current vehicles and sell a couple of them. But we are going to go, um, and I think we're going to build a lot of these trucks out. Definitely going to build this 454 SS. Um, the Cyclone, which is 74000 Wow. Um, better be worth it for that much. And... Yeah, I mean, let me know, guys, if you'd like to see that, uh, hang on, where is it? This uh, old Ford, what kind of build you'd like to see with that truck. Um, but, meanwhile, we're actually going to do a new build. We're going to go into here. I'm going to grab out this BMW. And, uh, yeah, let's build it out. So, um, just quickly before we do it. I don't know if it's the exact same as in Monbazu, but it's pretty dang close. Oh, nice 350T. Anyways, it's pretty dang close. I can't say it's the same, but I can't say it's pretty close. I mean... But, I'll say this for it. It's too slow. Definitely too slow. So we'll just put that on. Nice Mercedes. Dang. We gotta make ours look that clean one day. Alright. Um paint I'll leave for now. I'm not actually it's actually not too bad. So I'll leave that alone for right now. Body kits though, I definitely want to see this. So we got one with like a hood kind of different kind of reflector. We also got it looks like a different bumper without lights possibly. Spoiler, a bigger spoiler. Um we also got one that's more kind of simple we got wide body on it though and then we got one that's looks like it's a little more of a wide body now i'm probably gonna go with this one uh you know what let's go with this one not the most expensive actually the cheapest which i'm surprised it is but it is Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think it may have gotten a little less clearance from the ground, obviously, because the kit is on it. Um, personally, I think it looks really clean. I just don't know if that color fits it anymore. Black, silver, white, blue. Uh, let's do a white, but let's do reflectance as like seven. Or should I have gone with blue? Blue does show all the details in it. But I do like, well, more than this. But I also like this color. So we'll stick with this one. As for wheels now, uh, let's go with a stance kind of build here. Also looks like we got some a lot of new rims. Holy smokes. Uh, SUV, it doesn't look like we really got any. Let's see for truck. None for truck. Classic, I don't think we got any. Uh, street, maybe a couple more. Definitely not putting those on it. Uh, yeah, we'll do stance. All right. Um, I think a lot of people were probably doing stance builds and wanted stance trims, so 
that's probably why we got them. Those aren't bad. Uh, I don't mind those, but I don't like the shiny gold on them. It's not bad. I do want to go with a gold, kind of. So, let's go with... I don't mind those, but I think what we'll do is, that's not bad. There's so many dang good rim options now. By the way, that picture of that Tacoma in the background is sick. I think that was there before though. Uh, We'll go with that. Cause you know, next thing you know, I'm gonna spend a whole bunch of uh, time on the wheels. And not enough on the fun stuff here. Actually, let's get this up to 40 here. Alright. Um, drive train. Yeah, we'll stick with the... Actually, let's go with all-wheel drive here. Um, I'm going to go with suspension first, obviously, that's always number one for me. I definitely want to max this car out. I want, uh, you know what, let's do a drift. We'll do sport. Uh, sport again. I think we'll only put a little of turbo in it. I don't want to make it too crazy. Obviously not too slow, but... Because, you know, 748 horsepower is totally not crazy. Even 550. Um... So, yes, now here's the funner stuff. So, obviously, you know, I'm not going to leave it like this. I actually don't mind that height. Maybe if I did this. Okay, maybe three nine hundred. I don't mind that. All right, let's stick that in the back too. All right, that seems good. Now we'll just have to widen out the tires. All right. So that is our new car. Now let's see if I can drift this thing without crashing it. Okay, as I just crashed it. All right, let's see now. So it is quicker, which is nice. Let me know if you guys think I should have went with a different body kit with, in, with this thing instead. So clearly for drifting, it's not the best. Um, obviously, I still like my R33 a little more than this. The body style of both of them, though, are on point, so I will say that for it. Obviously, it doesn't drift that much, so we might just have to end up bringing this thing back and making it, like, a stanced build. If for that, I might take off the wide body kit and just, like, use the custom hood and all that. Also, I mean, that's kind of the most expensive kit, I believe. But, yes, this is the new car. Well, one of them that they added obviously as you guys can see they added a couple make sure to claim the subaru the mercedes the lancer if you guys want it um where are they um where is it uh the mercedes here make sure to claim it let's actually do a quick overview of what the mercedes looks like so it does look pretty good actually 
I mean, for my preference, I do like the Mercedes 500E best, but this one ain't bad. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of that spoiler in the back, but I mean, the big one's not bad. But yes, let me know which um, car was your favorite from this update, guys. Let me know about that Ford F100 if you want to see me uh, build that and what kind of build, off-road build, stance build, or not stance, sorry, uh, drift build, um, pavement princess maybe, maybe just a nice classic build. I don't know. Let me know, guys, what you guys want to see next. Um, let me know if you guys want to see me like build any of these cars because, I mean, I have like a couple that are still waiting to be built, including this Mustang, this uh, GTO right here. Just, you know, a couple cars, not too many. Or even if you don't want to see that, maybe we can build this. I might do this off camera, but I might build this truck out soon. Maybe the dually on camera. I don't know. Let me know, guys, what you guys want to see next. Actually, before we end the video, let's look at the the updated uh, Silverados. So if I'm correct, this is now a high country. Dang. That thing looks so much better. Also, if you guys are wondering, like, all of a sudden it got lifted. Yeah, I... I kind of lifted it off camera. I was tired of the lowered look. I was going to fix it, raise it up just a tiny bit, maybe an inch or two, but I decided to go big black Duramax kind of thing. Um, But let's look at the 2500 now. All right, so we just got to... I think they're both high countries, to be honest. Yep. Dang, that is clean. I might have to do different rims on this truck or something. This is more an off-road truck. Jeez, that guy really lifted, lifted his TRX. I don't know. We might have to do that Ford Lightning build soon. Here's one actually right here. That's it's clean, actually. Here, let me just... Clean trucks, man. Those two really do look good together, honestly. I don't know. I think we might have to uh, do two together someday. Like, even the four, we might have to, like, maybe in one episode, we might do the Ford Lightnings, or maybe one of the Chevys, one of the Fords. And then, I think either way, I think maybe all four will do on camera, or at least we'll do two on camera at least but I definitely do want to build the cyclone I think on camera but that won't be probably for another couple weeks anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed today's episode if you did make sure to hit that like button and uh, subscribe for any other future content and we'll talk to you guys later peace